Okay, next guys, we're looking at um, page 3 and 4 in our notebook. Now really, on page 3, this right here, this little trifold, is just a bunch of different words. Um, so it might be good to like pause and read over some of those words together. Like, all of these words refer to the addition. So when I'm reading a sentence and I'm translating math um, from a sentence into a math problem, it's good to recognize these words. Um, the ones that I definitely want to point out to you are turnaround words because I want to make sure you understand what I mean by that. And what I mean by turnaround words is if I see something like 5 is less than 4 or 5 is less than x, I would have to turn that around. So if we had 5 less than x, when I write that out, I need to turn those two things around. So it's actually going to look like x minus 5, because the 5 came first, now it comes last. x came second, so now it comes first. That's why it's a turnaround. Um, some parentheses words are important. And then if you look inside, you know, you have all of your equality type words. Equal, not equal, greater or less, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to. So those words are just there for you. Um, what I want to do with you is go through and fill out the front of this. We're going to try our little poof book together, and then you guys have a sort to do. So looking here first on page four, an expression is a math sentence without an equal sign. So math. Sentence without an equal sign. And so an example of that might be 5x minus 11. There is no equal sign. I can't simplify it at all. Sometimes expressions you can simplify down to just one number, and that's fine. Um, but they don't have equal signs. An equation is a math sentence with an equal sign. So math sentence with an equal sign. So an, an example of that could be 5x minus 11 equals 19. And sometimes equations you can solve and sometimes you can't. You don't need to solve that one there. It's an equation because it has an equal sign. And so really when we're doing this sort, it's important to look for those um, equal type words. Lastly, we have an inequality, and an inequality is a lot like an equation. Um, so it is a math sentence. And it does have like an equal sign, it's just not equal, it's greater or less. With a greater than, greater than or equal to, less than, less than or equal to sign. So for example, 5x minus 11 is greater than 19. And again, just like with all of them, you can sometimes simplify um, or solve, and sometimes you don't need to or you can't. So skipping the inside of that just for a second, let's look over here at translating expressions. So what I want to do is we're going to go through and we are going to, first of all, circle operators. Now, operators are like plus, minus, multiplication, division, maybe parentheses, things like that. Second thing we're going to do is we are going to box in any equal, not equal, inequality words. So, any equal words. So, I'm going to go through and do this with you. I'll do most of them. Maybe I'll leave some for you guys to try. So if I open up my little book, book, the first one we have is 7 more than twice in number is 15. So more than I recognize as an operator word, that's plus. Twice I recognize as an operator type word. And if you're not sure where I'm finding these, I'm just looking over here like twice is right there. More than is right there. Um, twice, then is multiplication. A number is 15. It is, is a really good uh, um, equal type word. More equal. 
So then when I go through and write this out, it should be really easy because everything should be here. So I have the number 7, more than is plus, twice is 2 times, a number, I don't know, so x is 15. And we're just writing the expression, so if we're really done, you could write it so it's a little nicer, maybe like that. But you don't need to solve or do anything. It's really important to know how to translate math. So 4 less than a number is less than the quotient of a number in 5. Lots of less than. Some of those, I think, are equals words, and some of them are turnaround words. Like less than was one of our turnaround words. So less than is a turnaround, subtraction word. A number is less than. Now when there's an is in front, that implies to me that it's an equal word. So is less than is going to be the less than symbol. Quotient is a really good operator word. That's division of a number. And is another really good addition word. Although, now that I'm rereading that, that might not be addition. We'll see when we get there. So when I just write this out, I have 4 less than a number. Oh crap, it's a turnaround word. Dang it. So i got to turn those around. A number is something I don't know, so we'll call it n minus 4 is less than the quotient of a number and 5. So yeah, this isn't really plus. It's just saying the quotient of two things. So the quotient of a number, I'm going to assume the same number, and 5, quotient of divide. We'll try one more. The quotient of twel uh, 12 and the difference of a number in 4 is not equal to 72. So there's that quotient word again, which was division. Of 12 and the difference, difference is a really good subtraction number, of a number and 4 is not equal to, so is not equal to is there, is not equal to 72. So the quotient of 12 and the difference of a number and 4 is not equal to 72. Hopefully that's how you read that. So I'm going to have you guys try the last few on your own, and if you don't get to the sort today, that's okay.